Colleagues, I rise today to thank you for your support of my resolution that denounces white nationalist and neo-Nazi groups and declares them domestic terrorist organizations. Today we have shown that there are not two sides, there is just one side. That Nazism, racism, fascism are all evil, period. Today, the Michigan Senate, as a unified body, stated we strongly denounce and oppose the violent terror terrorism, totalitarian impulses, xenophobic biases, and bigoted ideologies that are promoted by radical hate groups and declare these groups to be domestic terrorist organizations. The events in Charlottesville were disgusting and despicable. And make no mistake about it, it was not about freedom of speech or protecting our history. You have a right in this country to spot ridiculous and, yes, even hateful views. That does not mean there are not consequences. That does not mean you won't be shouted down by the other side. The First Amendment is not a get-out-of-jail-free card. It means the government cannot punish you for your speech alone. That does not mean you get to keep your job or avoid consequences for being a bigot. My grandfather, John Hertel, fought the Nazis in World War II. We fought two of the deadliest wars in our history against these ideologies. And we cannot allow homegrown extremists to revive the, the evils of the past. We fought these evils on foreign shores and in marches here at home. That is our history. Our long march towards progress and equality is the story of America. That is our history. Like you colleagues, I'm a proud patriot. I believe strongly in the promise of America. I believe our Constitution is the greatest living document ever written. An imperfect union started by white male slaveholders, but based on the revolutionary idea of self-governance. It took us 90 years to end slavery, another 60 years for women's suffrage, another 40 years before the Civil Rights Movement, and another 60 years before marriage equality. The struggle for a more perfect union so that one day we can truly live up to the pledge of liberty and justice for all. That's our history. That's what we honor here today. And remember, although the struggle is far from over. We will keep marching towards progress. Thank you, Madam President. I ask that my remarks be printed in the journal.